Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the numbers around us to make a smart chart and also to answer the few questions given based on the formed smart charts. Our first example is ask your friends about the number of people living in their homes. Fill in the table. So they have given a table here. So we have to ask the friends and we have to fill in number of people living in their families. Okay, one people, two people, three people, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many people living in their families? And we want to count the number of friends here. Okay, we have to add the friends here. So the questions ask that most families have dash people living in their homes. Smallest number of people living in a home is dash. Number of families having four people is dash. Okay, we'll move on to the solution first. See solution. I have asked all my friends, okay, and I have filled this table. So, this table we will call it as smart chart, okay. So, the number of people living together, only one people living together. So, how many families? It's two families. They are living only one people in a family. Then, five of my friends said there are two people living in their house, okay. Similarly, Three people, okay. The number of people in a house is three people. So, eight of my friends told there are three people living in their house, okay. So, this represents number of friends, okay. So, six people, okay. Six of my friends told four people are living in their house house so same way four of my friends told five people are living in their house then two of my friends told only six people are there in their house and then two of my friends another two friends told there are seven people in their house and only one of my friends said there is eight people there are eight people together living in their house okay so we understood what is on this column that is number of people living together in a single house eight people single house seven people and then how many families means each one represents one okay so now based on this smart chart we are going to answer this questions most families have das people living in their homes most means as we have already read in our previous previous videos right so most means many so many means we have to see the large number in this column right many families so we have to see the large number in the families column right so here the large number in this column is eight okay so against this age the number of people living together is three people so most families that is many number of families have three people living in their homes okay Next question is, smallest number of people living in a home is dash. So, smallest. So, we have to see the smallest. Okay. So, the smallest is 1. So, smallest number of people living in a home is 8 people. Okay. So, smallest people living in your home is 8 people. So, number of families having 4 people is so, four people we want to see here in this side. Okay. We are going to reverse this time. So, we are going to see four people. A number of families having four people is six. So, so, our answer is six. We should not go from here to here. So, we should see four people. So, number of families having four people is six families having four people in their home. Next example is, what have your classmates brought for lunch today? Find out and no term. Okay, so they have given a table. This table we will call it as smart chart. So, food item, number of students. So, and after forming the table, we have to answer these two questions. First, we will see how to form the table. See, I have asked my friends and I have formed the table. So, this is called a smart chart. So, food items and number of students brought that food item. So, rice is a food item which was brought by 7 students for lunch. And chapati food item is brought by 10 students for lunch. And then bread is brought by 5 students. And 5 of my students brought sandwich. And noodles was brought by 3 students. 
so i asked all my friends and i have formed a smart chart here so now from this smart chart we can answer the questions so food item brought for lunch by the largest number of students so we have to see in the number of students so largest means many number of students so here the large number is 10 so the food item brought by this 10 number of students is chapati so our answer is chapati is brought for lunch by the largest number of students Okay, then next question. Food item brought by the smallest number of students. Okay, smallest means less number of students. So, if you see here, the smallest number is 3. So, the food item against the smallest number is noodles. So, noodles is brought by the smallest number of students. Now, let's see next example. Make your own smart charts about things around you. So, our question is, which bird has the most colors? Okay, which bird has the most colors? So, they have given the table, bird name and number of colors in that particular bird. Okay, got it? Bird name you have to write and you have to find number of colors in that particular bird. So, this is the smart chart. First, we have to fill the smart chart and we have to answer the questions based on this smart chart. So, answering the questions from the smart charts is the easiest way. Okay, now first we will answer the smart chart. So, smart chart bird name and number of colors found in that particular bird. So, bird is sparrow. So, there are two colors found in the sparrow. And then it's crow. As we all know, crow has only one color, right? It's black. Then if you see pigeon, so you have four colors in that body of a pigeon. Then parrot, we are able to see three different colors in the body of a parrot. Then if you go for peacock, so it's a colorful bird, right? So we'll have at least ten colors in a peacock. Feather, it has many colors, right? So ten colors. So now we have formed a smart chart we are going to answer the questions from this smart chart which bird has the most color in it yes we all know most is many so the largest number here is 10 and the bird against this 10 is peacock so peacock has the most color in its body then which bird has the least color in it so least is less number so, less number is 1. So, 1 against the bird is crow. So, crow has the least color in it. Next, parrot has most color than. Okay. So, if you see parrot, it has number of colors in the parrot is 3. So, it has most colors. Okay. It has many number of colors than. So, you have to write crow okay and sparrow so parrot has many colors than okay crow and sparrow because these two have less colors parrot is having more color compared to crow and sparrow so parrot has most colors than crow and sparrow next question is parrot has least colors than so least means less so parrot has less colors than Pigeon and peacock because pigeon has 4 and peacock has 10. Parrot has only 3. So, parrot has least colors than pigeon and peacock. Hope you have understood all the concepts well. How to make the smart chart and how to answer the given questions based on the smart chart made. Thank you for watching the video.